Hello there, welcome to my attempt of uh, my own PB at this uh, C64 game called The Organism. Uh, it was released in 2018, uh, which is really nice uh, for a commercial game to be released 25 years after they stopped producing uh, the C64. I'm gonna play on easy level. Uh, let's get started. Very pass. Shoot the face over. Another face over. Try the pass. So the pass says I use for opening doors. Like this one. If I could find the right spot. Yeah, I that was the disc. We use the discs in combination with terminals. Uh, 11 terminals in this game. I need a disc for, for each of them. Um, and on each terminal, there'll be like a little mini game. You can see that right here. So we need to connect boxes of similar color. Um, and once you've done that, you will get some data or data. Um, once you've done that with all 11 terminals in this game. The door that uh, protects the final boss will open. So, yeah, we need to move around this uh, the ship to collect all the data disks and solve all the puzzles. I was deck E and I'm going to dig H and we're just going here for a quick little, quick little trip to grab that pass right there. You shall not pass. Well hopefully we shall. Just shoot that face over. I think the face hoggers in this game are I feel are the most annoying enemies. Those are the ones that will cause Most most troubles, as you can clearly see. Hmm. Just grab the pass, grab the disc, and another pass. Oh, man. My health is still in the green, but really, it's. It will go red very soon. Deck P. There we go. Open the door, grab the disc. And here, a terminal mini game. Yeah, that was wrong. Let's reset that one. There we go. Let's do brown first. Oops, and pink. There we go. Hmm, that's my cat. Hey. cat. He is he's fairly new in this family, this one year and a few months. We rescued him from a cat rescue center. He's awesome. Best thing we've ever done. Ooh. So, I see my health is now in and the red. I need 
need to pick up some at some point. It's getting close to his eating time. Actually, you can eat all the time. So, he's like a true Garfield. Uh, so, we're back at deck H. Oh, I managed to escape that face over. face of this but getting crapped by my cat. Yeah. Not all the face of this I avoid it. Cat is actually laying behind my <laughs> original Commodore C64. Is it favorite spot? Oops. Oh, anyway. So in here we have a terminal with a dual puzzle, and if you notice, it's actually the same exact puzzle as the one we just did. Two puzzles on this deck, and they are the same. Which is not the case of for any of the other decks. <clears throat> so solve that puzzle, and now going for a gunner paint. Uh, the final boss will be easier the more guns or grades that you have. And the way the kind of grades work is that you just hold down fire and well, it'll be kind of like an auto fire. And the more upgrades you have, the, the faster in the shoot. So that was H going to deck D. And deck D, we're passing a few elevators and we need to, before we go, so the next uh, deck, we need to fetch another pass because you can see we are down and pass equals zero. Avoid the X up here. And as you can see, my health is in the red. So I solve that by shooting one of the infected crew. Uh, just checking here. Uh, yes. Oh. Oh. The best thing, well, my strategy anyway, is just to try to walk around these xenomorphs. Uh, shooting them takes way too long. And. Uh, There we go. Hmm. It draws a little bit slowish. It could be my my joystick, but, but even on, on my original hardware, uh, using my slip stick, slip stick, um, it's still a little bit slowish. These are infected crew members, which we just have to avoid. They're not as dangerous 
uh, as the Xenomorphs, but mm, still, you don't want to be attached to them anyway. There you go. So, uh, the joystick I'm using for this game, it's a it's actually a joystick I, I made myself for playing uh, arcade games. Uh, I recycled a controller from an old keyboard and uh, built a cabinet and uh, connected a lot of wires after reverse engineering the keyboard matrix. Um, it's a good joystick uh, for arcade games, but for something like a C64 games where I would like a little more uh, tighter control. It's it's yeah. It's not optimal. I prefer playing with the Sipstick on on my original. Uh, well, on my C64, but but uh, oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. I went down a step too far. Hmm. And strange with the arms of a face hugger. Gee. Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh. Hmm. Up here. To take D. No. There we go. So whenever in doubt, regarding these puzzles, just do the most obvious ones first. That's my strategy anyway. And just hope that the solution for the rest will just reveal itself. So let's go to Dixie. Actually, that's not that elevator. It's the next one. Avoid that face over. So um, here we need to grab a couple. Pass. A couple of passes. We will need them later. So the higher up, the easier. The further down the ship, the harder it gets. And now we need to go down again. Yes. Got the elevator and go to deck I. Just just check my notes here. Yes, so here on Deg Eye, this little pass key, I always forget it. I always forget it. 
I tend to always forget it. Anyway. Now it's all enough. Now it's an hour. And we're in the red, so. Health nice. So. Let's boost our health. There we go. We are back in green. We need to do one more thing on this uh, deck. There's a terminal on the other side of this elevator. And past E6. And there we go. Oh. So dig L. First thing we need to do here is scrub a disc. It's up here. And then I need to go right. And this is a long cover. Lots of paintings. Not that tall. That's my cat. You hear the sound? It's my cat. like two thirds of the way oh. through the game. Go back to home. Deck O. And down here, past these fellows. And this is actually, this is the very last deck of the game as well. Not now, obviously, but this is where we need to go when we killed the final boss to take one of these escape pods. Grab the pass, go for the door, grab the disc, back to the elevator. Deck W. So right now our health is green, um, but the more often that you're being grabbed, um, at some point you will be red. So I've been grabbed a few times. I'll just I'll grab a health up right now, just to be on the safe side. Uh, so when you get get through this hallway, this corridor, try to avoid this. Up here, open that door, pass the hole, grab the disc, and over here to the right we have another gun. Another gun upgrade. Yeah. I'm not, I don't wanna I don't wanna be so sure. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Thank you. Here we have a terminal at the end. We have face hovers. I don't like them. Okay. Oops. Another graphical error. Oops. And 
can ever... Oh, dear. There we go. Yellow to yellow. to exit this level oh, of course I, need to. I just need a little kiss from that face over this deck is actually uh optional i'm not lucky um but the, the thing is there's a gun of great here at the last room and the more gun upgrades you have the faster Jesus the faster you will be able to kill the final boss is it worth it I don't know I don't know but uh, I need more health so luckily I knew there was a health upgrade in that room there we go Go to deck F. Actually, um, in case I missed that health upgrade, there's a health upgrade in that room as well. Oopsie. Jesus. Hmm. Oh, there was that door. Wasting so much time in this room. Terminal. There we go. This is another familiar puzzle that I think we've just done. I didn't want to connect it like that. So sadly, the only thing I can do is reset the whole puzzles. I'm not sorry about. Try that again. to the elevator down to deck W and from there we're going down to a deck we have not been on yet which is the um, the deck of the final boss but before before we can go to the final boss to pass this X pass this terminal this terminal try to make it past these the xenomorphs into the store, grab the disc, back to that terminal. No, do not, I don't want to be social. Oh. And obviously, that. Jesus. Hmm. Okay, behind this door, the final boss. So you you do not want this boss cannot touch you. If you, if it touches you, you're dead. So what you want to do is keep a distance. 
Avoid the facehuggers, obviously. If the facehugger gets to you, what... Actually, I, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but... What you do is... Just wheel the joystick from side to side and it will detach. And you can shoot it. Or walk away from it or whatever. But... Generally, just keep a distance. It would be good if um, with all fill her up instead of all the way. Um, yeah, okay. Come closer. There we go. We go, we go. Yes, come closer. I want to be all right down here. There we go. Okay. Now, yeah. Back to escape parts. That's why I didn't want to go all the way down there because this one. We made it! Yes. Hmm. I don't think it's a pretty personal best, but um, it gave me a chance to show you guys me playing this game and telling you a little bit about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will leave a link in the description so you can buy it yourself if you have an original uh, c64 then by all means uh, go for it try to beat my pb definitely try to beat this this attempt um it's only five dollars last i checked it's i think that's uh, some good value for for that amount of uh, money but uh, anyway have an awesome day uh, perhaps join me another day for another attempt thank you